four, three, two, one. I hope you're listening closely. This podcast sneak preview of the sole secrets of Toronto's top agents should probably be banned. The stuff that you're going to see in this report and what some of which you're going to hear on this podcast will probably get me into some trouble. But it's all about transparency and it's all about what is going to work to your advantage. As a result of deconstructing thousands of soul stories over the years, I'm able to identify the patterns that lead to success. As a result, I'm also able to eliminate doing the things that don't work. It's all about efficiency and everything, and I mean everything, has connecting patterns. For example, last week in Toronto, there was a $4 million property that ended up selling in an area with many other $4 million homes, but one of them ended up selling for almost 10% more than asking. This isn't something that generally happens in this price range, but it did. And especially right now, you're going to want to know what factors are important to have with your listing to ensure that your property stands out. I'm going to go over just a few of the items that you'll see on this classified report. Some of the stuff that I've been tracking and paying attention to for over the last for the, for the last 22 years is stuff that you'll never see in any other report because of the fact that it's not stuff that some of these agents want people to know. They just don't want you to see their patterns. I want you to know them so that you can understand which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. So when I'm reviewing all of the top souls near you and giving you all the behind the scenes that I can possibly dig up, I'm doing that to make you a stronger, smarter seller to make sure that you can also reverse engineer your success. And what has happened over the years is as a result of doing this, I've been able to set new sold records on some streets that remain in place to this day because of the steps that I followed to ensure that everything is working on your behalf. The one big mistake that the failures don't do, and this one here is unfortunately going to make a lot of you upset right now. If you are on the market or if you've been on the market recently and you go back and look at how your listing is reading, you have a thousand characters allowed in your listing as of this spring. If you go back and look at that, that first paragraph, essentially a paragraph, could be the downfall for some of you if that paragraph is full of nothing but F words. And by F words, I mean features. For someone to just be listing the features of your home on that very important first impression. I would arguably say the right words mixed with the right images, video, and most importantly, the right story that goes on top of everything. Everything sort of falls from there. So if the story is not correct, the words, the images, and the podcast, and the podcast is my secret weapon that I throw on top of the success plans that other agents have used in in various areas. And I love doing this kind of research and I do it 
anyways. So I'm already researching homes that have sold in Rosedale, in Forest Hill, in Markham, in Oshawa, in Oakville for upcoming clients. And in some cases, just because it's interesting to me. And if it's interesting to you to figure out how to put a few more zeros on your uh, in your bank account this summer, if that's at all interesting to you, then what I do is the perfect fit for you. It's the perfect meeting of information with action. Once those two are together, once you've got the ability to rule out all the other stuff, to review one-on-one -on -one with me, this is always confidential. All these reports are always confidential that I do that's specific to you and your area. But I will make sure that you understand what it is that I'm looking for as we literally go line by line through the listings and to ensure that what you don't see behind the scenes of contract negotiations, what you don't see is what's really hurting some of you. Some of you that I know, some of you that are listeners have called out to me and let me know that you've already had one deal fall through. There's a possibility of more. Yet, you are still allowing amateurs, in some cases, to control your fortune. Meaning, amateurs, people who've not been through enough of these to understand that there are clauses, there are preparations, there are hacks in a sense to secure your ability to close how do i know them and how can i prove it for 22 years of every sale that i've ever done every single one of them except for one closed and it wasn't for financing that it didn't close it was because we had hoarders in the house that we're not going to leave unless they were physically removed and it was not going to happen in a timely manner. So that particular one deal in 22 years did not go through and nothing like that has happened since. I'm a lot more cautious about that and I know how difficult those situations can be. Every other one, along with many challenges during various turbulent markets because if you look at 2000 to 2022 this is not the first time that we're dealing with a shift in the market so if you don't have the right person by your side the right consigliere the right you know right hand man if you don't have that person who is literally doing for you what they would do for themselves if they're not if they're not doing everything humanly possible to close that deal because it should mean for most of you it should mean a lot more than just a closed deal in some cases you know you're carrying two mortgages in some cases you've got other expenses and in some cases you don't really have another chance you might not have a you know you might not be able to strike out three times and remember what happens to your property every single time you don't close there is a stigma attached. Why is that property not closing? If people don't know that it's the financing, if the agent's not disclosing that, and this stuff is all dug down deep, by the way. This is not right up on the top. Like every every, every sold that you'll see is out there for everybody's advertising that. You, how many how many agents do you think have ever advertised that the deal fell through? None that I've seen. So for that reason and others you need to get this report so message me right now email best way to reach me paul.indrigo at c21.ca or through the website realestatepodcastshow.com this report on the soul secrets of toronto's top agents must be in your in inbox today or this week if you want a shot at being sold by summer. Thanks for tuning in.